All right, Joff, we are at your space station sized pedal board, which is awesome because I love this shit, man. So tell me about <laughs> everything that's going on and like, you know, blinking lights. There's a lot of sounds on here. So how are you using everything? Yeah, the Death, the death Star. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, as kind of ridiculous as this sounds, kind of the, the concept with the board was try to get as much functionality out of something that can also get on a plane and that you know i can also have on the floor i'm not interested in having all the effects off stage and kind of away i'm a control freak i like to see what's going on i like yeah. to be able to change things on the fly that thing could probably fly the plane my friend yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is right on the limit right on the <laughs> limit and it was made it was built by a very good friend of mine called um tag uh, you can follow him on instagram on the guitar butler Ooh, that's Check a good him name. out. I know, right? He's a, he's a real <laughs> funny guy. He's great, uh, really talented though. So, so yeah. I mean, everything is more or less plumbed into the RJM um, PCB PBC, I think. And everything PBC. you kind of showed us off camera before we start rolling. Everything's patched in for each song, and each song has different kind of, I guess, yeah. patches. Or yeah. So I mean, so the setup settings. is that you have songs inside a song. You have presets there you go and each preset can send CC change messages turn on different loops um, yeah do a bunch of different stuff now how much of that programming you did or how much did uh, the guitar butler do oh I'm not letting the guitar butler do any of that no <laughs> no, no 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 um, yeah no you know, this is you know all programmed all programmed by me and, so and it's kind of you know it's as ridiculous again as it sounds you know, we use a lot of different guitar sounds on the records. Absolutely. You know, tons of different pedals, tons of different amps. So this is trying to make something that is, can replicate to a certain extent what's going on on the record. So the live setup has to be in some cases a compromise. And that, I know that doesn't look like a compromise, mm. but in, <laughs> in, in our, our world it is, it is, yeah. Now, I think maybe a spot to start and kind of dive in and get some sounds going is the last time you heard a color sound fuzz, you have the big muff, which, you know, yeah. the last one was like a tone bender style. This is obviously a muff. Mm -hmm. So what made the change there? Um, I think it was recording the second album with JMJ. Uh, he had one of them. Oh. And it's, you know, I mean... To a certain extent, I might get berated for this, but fuzzes are uh, there's, you know, not that much of a difference for the amount of fuzzes there are out available, I yeah. think. Um, and I th the big muff, I think, especially the Russian one, for me, it ticks all the boxes. It's gritty. It's thick. Um, yeah, it sounds big and dirty. It's a fuzz box. Yeah. Let's hear it. Can yeah. I hear it? Maybe let's yeah. give us just your clean palette. And then bring right. bring the fuzz. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to turn some stuff off. Turn off the lights. Yeah, I know, right? So clean, so clean sound. Yep, two twins, and then we've got a fuzz. Yeah, and that's, so this is in the same loop. We have the Wampler Tumless. And that's like a kind of a clon clone? So it's, yeah, it's a clone clone. Okay. But it does a really interesting thing. So a lot of times fuzz pedals will remove low mid, will rem remove a lot of punch, and will kind of retain a lot of that sizzle in the high end, but you'll kind of lose a lot of that body. And for whatever reason, the kind of low drive mid boosts you put them before a fuzz, it kind of throws a bit of that back in. So the big muff without kind of goes with the Wampler Tumless in. A lot more mid, low frequency, beefy, mm -hmm. spiky highs. Yeah, you can definitely hear the AB. I don't know if it comes through in the recording, but as someone that's feeling it, it definitely you, you, it feels a different freak frequency hitting my back no for sure no definitely yeah it kind of makes it HD somehow yeah, yeah. and like a full a full thing now Joff I know that a lot of your sounds are dependent on multiple pedals and multiple kind of uh, settings and you obviously have like some high-powered stuff here with the Strymon the line six mm -hmm. I think from here maybe just 
show us some of your key sounds and, and then break down what we're hearing in terms of like what's getting used. Okay. Um, just because we're here, let's maybe go. So the last man on earth, I've kind of got a sound going at the moment, which is trying to replicate a string section because we don't have a string section. There's a bit of this sound on the record, but for live it was kind of the idea to make something that moves in the same way. So, I don't know, here's a little bit of so. So what we have going on here, what do we have going on here? So we've got the king of tone, uh, clean boost. Any, cl well, most most sounds will have the king of tone on as a kind of bass level. Okay. The compressor and the king of tone, either dirty or clean, clean in this in this case. And then we have the HX effects on, doing a sweep echo, which is kind of replicating the line six. The DL4? Yeah, which yeah. is like the closest pedal to my heart, but unfortunately I needed more functionality like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. So, you know, that's... Is it? Which is kind of a delay with phased repeats. It's very unique. It's got its own thing going for it. What, what else have we got in here? We've got a delay. Fairly standard delay. And then we've got a big Strymon octave reverb. Now, Which, as you can sound, is doing a lot of the legwork, really. Well, in I was that sound. say, where's that coming? Is it coming from the, the big sky, or is that coming from the HX? So that's, co the stomp? so that's coming from the big sky. Okay. However, with this sound as well, so something we've got going on at the moment is output two of the RJM. I've had set up. Um, so the outputs are all programmable, so in different presets you can have the output on or off. So when I want it on, and I want to create something that is maybe even more dreamy or that moves in a different way to the set sound, I can have that going out of output B through the HX Stomp, which I think is a fantastic pedal. I think both of these Line 6 pedals are unbelievable in what they can do. Um, Rel uh, relatively affordable considering what you, you so get out of it. So affordable, yeah. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so in this case, we've also got, you might not be able to hear it because it's not mic'd up, but... Uh, so all of those sounds are then coming through into the HX stomp, but different timed delays, more sweep delays as well. So you've got this that moves in one way and you've got that that moves in another way. And because it's DI, it's a... Um, a thinner signal, so it kind of floats around on top and creates a kind of interesting mesh kind of thing. I know uh, you've talked to, in the last one we did, other interviews, is, and I just know from hearing you and seeing you play is that you like a lot of movement in, in your yeah. notes. Whether it's clean or dirty, there's always some type of swoosh or whoosh or yeah. you know, square wave this or, you know, triangle something. No, exactly. I mean, I'd, I mean, you know, these effects are meant to be for me, anyway, I think <laughs> you, you, they can do such crazy things, and to not do crazy things with things that can do crazy things, it seems, it seems odd. And I've always loved guitar players that just, you know, just turn everything up and see what happens, you know. Whether it's like, you know, like Tom Morello with a, wah, you know, with a whammy pedal, the amount of crazy sounds you can get out of that, or yeah. if you're talking about Kevin Shields, and, or, you know, Josh Hayward for the Horrors. You know, it's just people that are making guitars do weird stuff because we've heard the blues lick do you know what I mean we've heard that a million times before it's, yeah. you know no diss to anyone that's into that you know that's that's your thing but for me it's all about you know how do we push things forward how do we make things sound it keeps different. it fresh exactly yeah it's inspiring in and a the way. tech at the moment is so amazing and some of these bits like you say you know they're kind of affordable yeah you know they're not completely out of out of the reach yeah so what should we hear next? I know you kind of well, that was like a shimmer, beautiful thing. What what do you have like a next step up on that? All right, let's go to let's do some let's do smile. Smile would be fun. That's a great fuzz tone. So in smile we have poor, pardon the clicks. In smile we have so we've got the compressor king of tone on clean as always, the wampler, the big muff, and then we're using the HX effects 
to, we've got some EQs in there um, and some gates. And that's a brilliant thing about the HXFX. If you've got it set up in stomp, well, in conjunction with this in uh, preset song kind of mode, each time you bank up, there's, a, there's a possible six pedals, different sounds that you can have, kind of have at your feet. You can turn on or off. It's, yeah, it's, it's really changed the game for me completely. So this is, this is what that sounds like then. Yeah, that that's, starts the, the record. I know it probably starts the show with the bang. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It's a real fun one to play. Yeah, it's a really, really fun one to play. And now then there, just I heard an octave as well, right? Yes. So you are right. You are right. Yep. So there's the mooer in there as well. Okay. Um, that took place of, I know that you're a big fan of the, the pog, the hog. Yeah I, love, yeah, I love those pedals. I think they're absolutely fantastic. To be honest, I think the Mua, in terms of a single unit that just does octaves, is one of the best I've played. And it's super small. It's super small, really cheap. Um, and as with the compressor, yeah, I think Mua are absolutely fantastic. And some people kind of turn their nose up and, you know, that's a, whatever, a $50 pedal or whatever. Yeah. They're brilliant. They make so much good stuff, so much really good stuff. And it's on, you know, it's on there because it's great. And it's also small. Yeah, and some, sometimes you got to let your ears do the thinking and not so much your eyes in terms of like, well, the MSRP in a pedal or, yeah, or yeah, the country no, exactly. of origin. So. Yeah, if it's good, if it's good, it's good. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's keep moving. I, I know there's a lot of sounds lurking on here, so maybe walk through a few more key sounds. I don't know. Well, this, this is the thing with this. It's not really a case of key sounds. Everything has its own kind of, everything definitely has its own vibe um, and is set up there's not a sound that's kind of repeated, if you know what I mean. Yeah. There's not, this is my clean sound with a delay. Yeah. It's like, this is the intro sound to delicious, to delicious things. You know, here Which, is... That's a delightful sound. You know, here is, here is the tone for formidable chord. Yeah, there's nothing, I don't believe there's anything in here that's repeated at any point. Um, we've got a lot of bangs at the moment. <laughs> we've, got some, we've got some buffer issues that we'll uh, get through. Yeah, this through. is known to be a noisy room too. Yeah, yeah, with the lights and stuff. But. breakdown sound in bros but there's some great stuff coming out of the HX um, effect, HX stomp there which is kind of this yeah how are you pitched up pitched up reverb okay. delay kind of job uh, and that's coming through the monitors and that's going straight through a DI well hopefully out of front but also <laughs> in this monitor um, So you've got more of a kind of standard-y, guitar-y, washy sound, and then that that doesn't, for me, doesn't sound anything like a guitar. It sounds no. like a, sounds I don't know. Sounds heavenly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving purgatory, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> now, I see uh, some Empress effects as well. So how are those getting incorporated to the thing? So, the thing being, you know, your overall sound and yeah, so pedal playground. These are mostly used as expression effects. Okay. Um, I think Empress make the best mod pedals. I'm including tremolo in that as well. I use their multi-drive as well, which is really good. It's kind of metal sound. But these ones are all kind of turned off and on um, for certain, just for certain moments. Um, so in Smile, there's a big noisy section, which uses that same kind of octave fuzz sound. But then we go... And if we wanted to, you know, we could also go down to the tremolo and go. Kind of almost a Johnny Marchop. 
Yeah. Like super chop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but they go to they go to the absolute extreme, the Empress pedals, um, and that's what I really, 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 really love about them. They're just yeah, fantastic. Even like the, f I was playing with this sound the other day that was just it just if we get a kind of clean-ish sound going on. What are we saying? Loop eight. This is one of my favourite at the moment. It's got a kind of random wave thing. I feel quite discombobulated now. But is yeah, this what it's meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, through a set, Jaff, are you finding yourself on the floor doing kind of what you did there with the Empress? Or is that you kind of have your sounds dialed in and you don't really do too much knob churning mid set? Uh, it, dep it depends what's going on, really. Sometimes I'll, you know, fiddle with a delay <laughs> feedback and time thing to make a weird noise or whatever. And, yeah. you know, some, I'll, you know, play around with some of those expression things kind of ad hoc as well like kind of with a bit of wah and stuff like that mostly things are fairly in preset mode that's what's going on there um, but you know the big fun at the end of the show is getting to put all of them on at the same time which I is